This process involves loading the startup instructions from the computer's ROM called the BIOS, Basic Input Output System. This is followed by loading the operation system from the current boot disk. The boot disk is usually an internal ROM but can also be external drive, a CD or DVD ROM or even a floppy disk. Once the operating system software is loaded, the boot process is complete. Once the operating system is loaded, you can open your application on which you want to work like MS Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Flash, AutoCAD, Web Browser, etc. Now we shall summarize the steps as follows. Boot and Load BIOS Load Operating System Load application software. Kindly tell me about the softwares. I will explain them in the software chapter. Baba, you also mentioned that ROM is volatile. Kindly explain further. Listen carefully. Memory can be either volatile and non volatile memory. Volatile memory is memory that loses its contents when the computer or hardware device gets switched off. Non-volatile memory is memory that keeps its contents even if the power is off. Baba, I have here two memories that is RAM and ROM. No Vidya, let me introduce you both of them one by one. Now first one is ROM, it is non-volatile memory that retains the data even when power is switched off. ROM is used for storing programs that are permanently resident in the computer. ROM portion of main memory is needed for programs like bootstrap loader, which start the computer operating system when power turned on. Got it, Baba. Okay, Vidya. Note down some important point about ROM. That is, read-only memory. ROM is basically used to store permanent programs, such as program for the functioning of the monitor. There are five basic ROM types. ROM, read-only memory. P-ROM, programmable read-only memory. EP-ROM, erasable programmable read-only memory. EEP-ROM. Electrically Erasable Programmable Read-Only Memory Flash EEP ROM Memory Each type has unique characteristics, but all types of ROM memory have two things in common. Data stored in these chips is non-volatile. It is not lost when power is removed. Data stored in these chips is either unchangeable or requires a special operation to change. It requires programming of complete data when the chip is created. You cannot reprogram or rewrite a standard ROM chip. If it is incorrect or the data needs to be updated, you have to throw it away and get a new one. They use very little power, are extremely reliable and in the case of most small electronic devices, contain all the necessary programming to control the device.